Oh, hello. Hi there. It's Sam. Welcome to another Giant Thursday. Today we're going to be talking about website migration. Now, as website migration is quite a hefty topic, we're just going to go over the basics in this video and we'll go into more depth in future series. Well, starting with the very basics, what is website migration? Well, let's imagine you're moving house. You'd naturally make sure to pack up all of your belongings and move them over to your swanky new digs. Standard, right? You wouldn't want to leave all of your valuables behind at your old address, would you? A migration is making sure that you prevent leaving all of the SEO value that you've accumulated at your old site and make sure you don't lose out on organic traffic when you transfer to your new, fancy site. If you picture every single link that's been posted across the internet, social media and other websites linking back to your site, a bit like your postal address, a migration will ensure that your post is forwarded on to your new address. If you don't conduct your site migration in the right way, all of these links will be dead and there'll be piles of unread posts left on the doorstep of your old house. When users come looking for you, they'll just see a 404 page. This not only means that you're missing out on traffic, but also leaves a bad impression on users. So when would you need a website migration? Well, migrations can be a necessity due to a new website build, new domain name, server upgrade, security certificate update, or when merging multiple sites together. There are a lot of risks associated with site migration, including massive drops in traffic, which can have a much further reaching impact on goals and conversions. Website migrations take planning and require a team of developers and SEO specialists to guarantee success. But what actually happens as part of a site migration? Well, to keep things simple, we'll stick with top level bullet points. Start by downloading and reviewing the current site data. This is URLs, keyword rankings, index pages, links, the lot. This will not only help you to identify any existing issues, but also benchmark performance before moving to a new website. You then work through these lists and take action on things like orphan content and fix any potential crawl errors. There's some awesome tools that can help you with this. Something like Screaming Frog, which is personally one of my favorites. After rigorous tests and housekeeping, you're now ready to start mapping redirects. This again is a delicate process and in short consists of mapping out the old pages to the new ones. This means that any old links will redirect to your new website and help reduce loss of traffic. It's important to remember that every URL matters in this process. No man left behind. It's also vital to ensure that you have all of the peripherals set up and ready to go as soon as the new site launches. Google Analytics and Google Search Console as a minimum, as these will be some of the first places you'll be able to spot any potential issues post-migration. Website migration can be an insanely complex process, which should be handled with care. A bit like this banana. Otherwise, things have a tendency to go a bit, oh, banana-shaped. Sorry, had to wash my hands. We'll talk more about this in a future Giant Thursday, but for now, thank you very much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe below. I'll catch you in another one.